We're now going to deal with searching by logging into the system. And of course, you would click on the top right hand side. You'll click the login button if it's not logged in. Because I'm logging in, it's telling me because I'm logged in, it's telling me to log out. And I don't want to do that because I want to do a search by logging in. So now I'll go in here and I'll type in baby. What's the difference between this and the other search of not logging in? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So what it's done, it's logged in with baby. Okay, and it's done a search with the word baby anywhere. Well, can I do an advanced search? Absolutely, you can. All fields must contain the word baby? No, the title. So I'll go title, must have the word baby in it. Now I do a search, and guess what? Exactly the same as not logging in. It's done a search, and the search that it's done, it says the word title must be somewhere in the, uh, the word baby must be somewhere in the word title. So what's the advantage? Well, let me take it one step further. I don't want free text. It starts with the word baby. Remember title starting with the word baby. Now do a search. What's the difference between this search and not logging in and searching? Nothing. It's still the same search. Well, why do I have to log in to search? Ah, this is where the difference is between the old system and the new system. In the new system, when I click on this book or video or whatever it is, what it's going to do, it's going to have a look at that title that you have requested. And at the bottom, okay, where it says recommended books, at the bottom, it has said, you have clicked on this book. Let me go and use some artificial intelligence and bring up all the other books that other people have looked at this book. So if there are other users and they've clicked on Baby Einstein, what it's going to do, it's going to say the people that clicked on Baby Einstein also clicked on these other books. How cool is that? So when you Click on that one, it'll come up and it'll bring up all these other books and they could be different, okay? When you click on that one, it says, which other users have clicked on this, v on this book? It says, well, these are the books the other users. So in other words, why is it doing it? It's artificial intelligence and it's brilliant. What it's doing, it's uh, promoting your books in your library to the person that logged in. Now, because Michael has logged in, what it's doing, it is saying, Michael, you logged in, but let me tell you, I've looked at your profile and I've looked at other profiles that have also watched this book and I'm showing you the books that you should consider looking at. So that's the reason why you go and log in. It's about allowing the system using artificial intelligence to recommend other resources, which you as a user, because you don't come into the library a lot, you're doing everything remotely and you can't, you don't have time to talk to the library staff. So they'll say, oh, well, you've chosen this book. Why not also consider these books? When you go into there, they'll say, why not also consider these books? Because the person who's also looked at this book, out of all the membership, everyone that's clicked on this book has also clicked on these books. That's what it's promoting, and that's what's great about it.